Hey YouTube, Bulls38 here. I want to talk to you today about bug out bags and what kind of bug out bag. A lot of people want to know why you even need a bug out bag. Why do you need a bug out bag? There's so many natural disasters happening in this world anymore. Why wouldn't you want a bug out bag? I guess the way I look at it, it's like running around in your car without a spare tire in the back. Not prepared for a flat. You know, fires, tornadoes, earthquakes, blizzards, floods blackouts there's, there's just and it happens i mean it may not happen in your neighborhood today but turn the news on it happened somewhere i guarantee you look at colorado last year with the floods and out west farther out west with the fires look at uh sandy year ago coming up the east coast there's a lot of reasons that you need a bug out bag you're traveling you travel well 40 miles to work you know you're up here in, in the north and you're leaving work and it's snowing and you don't make it home. It's complete wide out. You slide off the ditch. And nobody's seen you slide off the ditch. Heck, they can't even see in front of them. Probably maybe they shouldn't have been driving, but nonetheless, they was driving. And now you're down in the ditch. You may be down there for days. You know, and it's smart to have the things you need in it, with you, in your car, in your office, at your work, in your locker, by the door of your house. I, wherever you're at, it should be close in hand. And, uh... It should have the clothes, the main thing, it should have the clothes in it. You're, you're at work and, and you work in an office and you're in dress shoes, you're in high heels and a skirt. I wouldn't want to bug out in none of that. Always make sure you have the right footwear and the right clothes with you. That's just, a, that's just a gimme. But get back to the bags. There's so many types of bags out there. And you don't have to go out and buy the, the biggest high dollar bag just to look really cool. Because you know what, when it comes out and you need that bag and you're bugging out, it doesn't matter what kind of bag it is. Otherwise, it's going to sit in the corner and collect dust anyways, which most of them do. So, buy, buy the bag that, that's comfortable for you. Buy what you can afford. You know, go get a Walmart bag. Put duct tape on the bottom of this thing. Throw some water, some protein bars in it. Whatever you feel you need. It, at least you got something, you know. Get a book bag. Just a kid's book bag. Simple. You can buy them anywhere. Get a book bag. Amazon. You can find some really nice under $40 bags on Amazon. How big do you need a bag? Well, it's up to you. The best thing to do is uh, go through and figure out what you need in your bag, which we'll do on another video, and uh, lay it out and see what size bag you need. Don't go buy the biggest, greatest bag there is because you're going to want to fill it just the way we are there ain't no way we're carrying around a half empty bag so you're going to want to fill it uh you don't want it so heavy that you're all leaning forward and trying to carry this big monstrous thing on your back you don't want that but you want the main essentials in it and after that you're putting comfort things in it you know my my personal bag is is a big bag but nevertheless it has everything i need in it for my my personal self and that's what you want so, next video, we're going to talk about the things you need in that bag. Uh, if you go to Walmart and you buy a book bag, if you go to an Army Surplus, you know, don't get one of them big rack sacks, ruck sacks, whatever the hell you want to call them. Don't go get one. Talk to, talk to the people in Afghanistan and Iraq and even here in the States that's carried in things for miles on their back. You really don't want one of them. And I'm sure there's 100 people going to come out and say, yeah, you do, but I don't want that thing on my back. But, uh, hey, till next time. We'll, uh, we'll get into what we need in the bug out bags. But we, you definitely need one. You need a bug out bag like you need a spare tire in your car. It's that simple. See you next time.